like a scalded goat. Yes. And then what happened? Hey guys, welcome to this exciting episode of the Thrifty Three because we are going drag racing. Heck yeah. And we've got uh, three of the coolest cars you can drag race, I think. And we don't have Tommy. Where's Tommy, Mike? Tommy is on vacation. Is he camping somewhere? He's camping in Moab. He's camping in Moab. I so, can't so, he left us. So we've got you to drive. And I think I'm going to drive the Tesla because it's... A Tesla series. Yeah. And let's talk about the three cars that we have. So obviously we've got, you know, got the Tesla. Got the Tesla. All right, that's easy. This is a good hint right here as to what the other two are. This little watch band right here. Then we have, check this out. We have a BMW M2. Competition. Competition. It's got the M3's engine in it. Very special car. Okay. And then we have one more BMW. Yes, the BMW M850i Coupe with X-Drive, so it's all-wheel drive. We've got two badass BMWs against a non-performance Tesla Model 3. So Dual motor. Dual motor. Aye. Okay, so the first will race the Tesla versus the M2. Yes. And so whoever wins that. Whoever wins that, we don't know yet. And so that will that will be the 850. That then it will buy. be 850i versus right. the winner of this. And if you think you know which car is gonna be the fastest, Put it in the comments below before you get to the end of this video. But keep in mind, we're a mile above sea level and the Tesla doesn't care. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the brand new Audi e-tron. All you do is push. And look at that, just like a Tesla, it opens up. So we've already spent two out. bucks. Let's go. Uh, let's go, let's see how it does, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Go through the kick through, so that's... Ooh, oh, I think yeah, you yo, 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 yo. All right, Mike, first race is Tesla versus M2, but you want to use launch control. Well, I want to try and use launch control, but you have to have driven six miles uninterrupted before it will engage. All right, all right what I'll do is I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I'll okay. let you use launch control. I'll try. Try it. Okay, try I'll it. Try. But I feel like this is not fair. Uh, you know, if yeah, it's not right, exactly. Let's, let's, fair. let's just go do it. Yeah. Time for under the hood, and under the hood of the M2 competition pack is what makes it so special. This is the same engine you get in the BMW M3 and the BMW M4. It's a three liter inline six cylinder twin turbocharged, makes 405 horsepower, 406 pound feet of torque. You can get it with a six speed manual. This one has a seven speed dual clutch transmission. There's a fancy diff at the back and it powers the rear wheels. And under the hood of the Tesla, well, there's a, uh, There's nothing, it's a truck. Uh, there is no combustion engine in this car. It's got a pair of electric motors that make a little over 400 horsepower combined. Activate launch control. Deactivate dynamic stability control. Refer to page 157. I've done that. Stability control is off. I've gone into M mode. That means my DSC is off. Select sequential mode with gear one. I am in sequential mode with gear one, that's great. All right, with the engine running, apply the brake. With so Mike's in the M2, I'm in the Tesla Model 3, but this is the non-performance. It's rear wheel drive versus all wheel drive, instant torque versus, well, not so instant torque. Uh, but the difference between the dual motor Model 3 and the regular performance Model 3 is, I think, software. Sure, the performance has a little spoiler, red brake calipers, and a little better suspension setup, more track tuned, but in terms of actual battery size and the amount of power that this car has, the dual motor versus the performance, I think it's about the same. The difference being that it's software limited 
to like a zero to 60 time of 4.4 seconds and a top speed of 150, whereas the performance goes zero to 60 in 3.3 seconds. So it's just over a second faster to 60. Now, what does that mean when I'm racing an M2? We're about to find out, huh? Time was horrible. Oh man, it's close. But we're neck and neck. Oh, BMW M2, no way! That was horrible. I allowed him to stage and then I didn't go until he went. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Yeah, let's see. My reaction time was 1.9. So, um, yeah, that's no good. I was waiting for him to stage, and then, uh, you know, he, he was, I wasn't sure he was ready. The tree went down, and all of a sudden, um, basically, I, I gave him a one second head start because uh, I didn't think he was ready. So, I know that's a lot of excuses, but let's do it again. All right, this is the redo because I am no longer Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, clearly launch control did not work and it caused a little mess it up. It caused so a two second forget launch reaction control. time. We're not gonna do launch control. I'm just gonna floor it. And you're gonna floor it and we're gonna see which of these two cars is faster. Sounds good. Faster. Yeah, still broken. Still waiting for parts. It's been now, uh, uh, what, is this four episodes, five? Hopefully soon we'll get this bad boy fixed. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, still broken. So I was feeling really bad about the crash, the Tesla, but I found a car that's actually worse than ours. Okay, so that first one, uh, launch control didn't go so hot. I'm going to turn on M Dynamic traction control, which is like a less interferent version of traction control, because you don't mind a little bit of wheel slip but I don't want to do a burnout like I did last time because that is useless for going fast down the drag strip. Really, there's no excuses now. It's just uh, me against the clock. I'm not even considering them to. I think this car will easily beat it. So, wow, just wow. I'm, I'm really floored by uh, how fast electric cars are and um, kind of wishing we had bought the performance model. See if I can beat you this time. Here we go. I'm off. <laughs> bye bye, Michael. Bye bye. Ooh, that was a really good launch for both of us. Wow, the Tesla's just ahead. <laughs> I love electricity. Wow. That was a really good drag race right there. Maybe a third of a second between the two. That was that was the one right there. That was really, really close. Oh, yeah. Oh. There is no displacement for instant torque. So Mike, I think you know on that first race, it's the launch where the Tesla wins. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the M2 is rear-wheel drive. Yeah. It's got a good amount of power and sticky tires, but it just doesn't hook up quite like the Tesla does. Yeah, once the Tesla hooked up, you couldn't catch it. They're up. neck and neck. Like yeah. once once the two are down the road, yeah. they're really close. But it's in the launch that the Tesla wins that race. I hear the 850 launch is pretty hard. Like a bat out of hell. So I'm feeling good about this next race. Like a bat out of hell. I would go like a startled goat. Such a cliche, bat out of hell. Startled goat.
about this car. It's so comfortable. There's so much space. I have headroom with a helmet on. I don't know, that's not the All right, last but certainly not least is the BMW M850i xDrive. And this has a 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8. It makes a whopping 523 horsepower, 553 pound-feet of torque. It sends that power to all four wheels, that's what xDrive means, through an eight-speed automatic transmission. And uh, well, this is certainly the most powerful car here, but it might also be the heaviest, weighing 4,500 pounds. There we go. Oh, he got a better start. It jumped. Oh, holy crap. oh, it missed a shift. The car jumped and he didn't shift. And I'm fast him. <laughs> no driver error here. That's so disappointing. Man. That sucks. Well, I'll take it. A win is a win. But that car literally jumped. Alright, like, so the car, like, leaped up like a scalded goat. Yes. And then what happened? Um, well, so, uh, I missed a shift. That's what happened. You did not. You had it in M mode, didn't you? You I, had it in manual I mode put it, and you I, didn't know that it doesn't shift. I, I, the I, so, okay, I put it in S mode yeah. and I wasn't sure if it was going to shift for me or not. Yeah. But it turns out S mode will shift for you. Yeah. So the one to two shift happened on its own. Yeah. But then I thought I needed to take over. Right. So I hit the button, but I hit it twice and it went into fourth gear after redlining for a second. And then I like oh, slowed blah, down. Blah, blah, blah. We need to do it again because yeah, I, gotta do it I again. messed up. I didn't do the car justice. It's my fault though. All right, one more time. Okay. Roman, I propose a rev battle because pretty much I think I know I'm gonna win. Uh, we'll start with the Tesla. Yeah, okay, there was no point in doing revs in the Tesla. It doesn't rev anything. But the M2 does rev something. Now the 850i has two more cylinders, which could make it two times more interesting, who knows? I think by virtue of the fact that the M2 actually lets you rev it all the way to redline, that one has to be the winner for this rev battle. Hey Mike, you know what they say? What do they say? Silence is golden. My goals for run two. Number one, don't be a dummy. That's gonna be my first goal. Um, I understand now that S1 will shift for you and I don't have to hit the paddles. That was certainly a mistake of mine. Uh, I think I should win. I really think that the M850 is faster than that Tesla. The launch, I was off the line faster. Uh, it, it should win this race. I firmly believe that. This is a faster car. All right, in the last race, I turned off the air conditioner. In this race, I'm gonna turn off the air conditioner and the radio, why not? Maybe that'll help. I did go faster, so I'm gonna turn anything off that draws possible power, and that's really the air conditioner and the radio. There's nothing else here. That's the sound of a demon and a dart, by the way. Should be a good race. A purple dart and a black demon. Talk about your classic Mopar. Oh no, no, they're not lining up together. Oh, maybe they are. Yeah, they are. Let's see what uh, the outcome of that race is.
10.5, the dart ran 11.6. So there you have it. Here we go. Good start. Come on! Yeah, I got him on this one, guys. Bye, Roman. I'll see you later. Oh, he's got me, but it's not going to be by much. Come on, Tesla. My fastest yet but no matter what I did there radio air conditioner he got me A victory woohoo all right Mike so I've got a couple questions for you. Uh -huh. How much does the M2 cost? The M2, yeah. about $68,000. So a $50,000 Tesla is faster in a straight line than a $68,000 M2. Correct. And how much does the 850 cost? I think I, I, think I see where you're going with this. Uh, $120,000. So you can get two uh -huh. and a half yeah. Tesla long range Model 3s or three regular range. Yes. Yeah. Or a Model S ludicrous mode. Yes. Which would beat it. Which would beat it. I no. see your point. I see your point. But, Roman, look at these times right here. The times tell you that, you know, 12004, that's the M850i, 12653. And, you know what, Roman, in racing, a half a second, 0.6 of a second, people would pay millions of dollars for that in Formula One. You know what the times tell you, Mike? Well, you have a better reaction time, for one. No, the times tell you that if you actually had bought those two cars, you would have spent way too much money <laughs> <laughs> to go drag racing. Absolutely. <laughs> As always, guys, this is Roman. And Mike. Thanks for watching our Thrifty 3 Series, even though it's not so thrifty, but we are having fun. Come back next week when we do something, well, a little bit more sane. As always, this is Roman. And Mike. Saying, check out TFLcar.com for more news, views, and what, Mike? Real world drag racing reviews. All right, so uh, if it were your money, which would you buy? M2. Really? Easy. Uh, you know, I might do the same, actually. Except I would buy the manual transmission, <laughs> yeah, and, and I would forego the, like, five grand in options that this one has, make it $60,000, and it's much more appealing. I think I would buy the M2. I love that car. It's got the DNA of the BMW it's brand. It's awesome. It's so But fun. I wouldn't get the competition. I don't think it gives you that much more. Uh, not mm, the M3 engine. That's pretty much it. Yeah.